<sighs> Greetings and blessings. Greetings and blessings, divine warriors of the spirit. So let us, let us talk on the subject of spirit activation. Upcoming workshop I'll be teaching. Deepening. Presence. Through proper breath mechanics. So when we hear about breath work, oftentimes there's a connotation, an inference of this quick paced hyperventilation sort of breath work. We think of breath of fire. <laughs> you know, we think of the Wim Hof. <sighs> Rebirthing. All these different techniques are beautiful, powerful medicines. They have their time and place and purpose. But when we're talking about just breathing in our normal lives, day to day, that's not sustainable to breathe that way, right? And the hyperventilation is actually deoxygenating the body. It's removing the CO2, which allows your cells to absorb oxygen. So if you feel out of breath, it's the quick breathing is not actually the quickest way to come back to equilibrium. The quickest way to come back to equilibrium is to slow things down. And this requires proper breath mechanics. This requires us to understand how to actually breathe correctly. See, we don't want to have tightness in the chest when we breathe. Oftentimes you see people take a deep breath and it's... That's not it either. We want to activate the entire length of the lungs. And on a deeper level, we want to realize that every cell in the body breathes. Just like every cell resonates, every cell sings, vibrates. Every cell breathes. And so we're not just breathing into the full lungs, we're breathing into the entire body. So with the spirit activation, we're going to learn how to properly breathe. And we're gonna learn how to deepen presence with the breath, using the breath as a companion, as a guide that is with us as we come deeper into ourselves. And so there's many guided journeys out there, practices where people will tell you, use your breath, stay with the breath to bring yourself deeper. But that's all cool and all, but if you're not breathing properly, that's gonna take you only so far. You need to know how to breathe properly to deepen the breath, to deepen the awareness. And there is a direct connection, correlation with the depth of our breath, the awareness of our breath, and our ability to focus, our ability to go deeper, our ability to transcend the monkey mind, transcend the thoughts, the incessant thoughts. Because by slowing down the breath, we actually slow down the thoughts and we bring coherency to our being. The breath is a vital key in bringing coherency into our beings.
And we also need to realize that the breath stirs up emotion, right? We're moving the waters of our body. So the water carries emotion. The breath is stirring up the waters, stirring up the emotions. The breath practices will make you feel things, perhaps that you've been repressing, suppressing. And so it's a beautiful opportunity to release, to feel, to heal. And truly first, in order to feel, you need to reveal, right? So the breath removes the sheath. It brings light to the brain. Literally, you'll, you'll do practices where, and we'll be doing this in the class, so very simple, very simple practices, but you start to go deeper and deeper into it. And you'll have moments where you could be sitting in the darkest room with your eyes closed. And all of a sudden you feel this energy rise. And it's so bright. It's so bright. Like this internal light that sh is shown to you. And you see that it, this light is coming from within, right? Literally, quite literally. The brain is lighting up from within. New connections forming. Because these techniques actually hyper connect the brain much alike to how psilocybin mushrooms hyperconnect the brain. So by breaking out of old breath patterns, coming into new ones with a conscious awareness, we actually reprogram the mind and rewire the brain physically. So you can use the breath to rewire the brain physically, which will actually change the experience of reality to one that is more connected. See, we get all rigid in our lives. We get rigid in our brains. following the same neuron pathways over and over because we're doing the same things every day. We're in the same patterns, same routines, same thoughts coming in cycles. When you do these breathing practices, you alter these patterns, you break out of them. And you come to stillness. You come to that still point, that neutral point. Where everything flows from seamlessly. And in that is a true activation, a true liberation of self, of spirit. Which in its nature is already that. It is already free. You are already free. We use the breath or the spirit simply as a tool to remind us of this fact that we are already free. We are already perfect. There's nothing we need to do to be perfect. There's no one that we need to try to be. It is the truth behind the veil. The truth behind the veil 
is that you are the divine perfection. The synchronicities, the connections that we make, which the breath helps us to see and feel, these are but a legend to the map. For if one synchronicity happens, even just one, this one moment where everything aligns perfectly, in order for everything to align perfectly in that moment, everything prior to that moment must have also been perfect. And the synchronicities continue to happen. So there are winks from that universal self, which resides in all, winking at you, reminding you, hey, don't get caught up in it all. It's all unfolding in the grand design. But it's so easy to lose track, right? It's so easy to lose sight. We feel a lot of heavy emotions and yeah, there's a lot, of, a lot of craziness in this world, right? A lot of us are very sensitive. We feel it all. So we have these tools to bring us back, to bring us closer, to remind us who we are, of our true nature. And I have found that the awareness of breath, bringing awareness to breath, awareness of body, This is something that will always be with you. Will never leave your side. So we breathe into, we anchor into what is real. What is unchanging is what is real. And what is unchanging is the love, is the devotion that holds this all together. For what else could be strong enough to bring all of these particles into this form? What else is strong enough to create all of this? There's so much beauty here. So much variety. What is the force behind it all? If not love. Love is just a word, I understand. It does not embody what we're actually talking about. What we're actually talking about cannot be known. We can do our best to discuss it, to bring light to it, but it is beyond words, it is beyond understanding. 